Welcome back to the Bases Loaded. This is Lucas, and we're playing Cthon, Cthulhu Cthon, Ia Paka, Bakak. Speak to your chickens. Speak in tongues and cluck away. Oh, this level actually has kind of almost music. Um, cool. So yeah, I'm I'm very happy that I'm not dead yet, and I'm on level three. This might change soon. Um, I did have a quick look between episodes here to find out um, if I could get an idea about how uh, secrets operate in this game, and all it told me is that um, you might not get much out of them because it's procedurally generated. So I have no idea what a secret might look like. Um, so that doesn't really help me much. Eh, it's kind of facey there. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is, uh, some pretty cool stuff. I see you there. Um, the enemies do seem to have, like, um, variable hitboxes. Ooh, this is probably increases maximum power. Finally, I have been needing this. Um, got a lot of those launcher th well, two. There we are. All right. All right. Have not really come up, coming up a which way sign. Just found another one. Um, it's funny. The thing I looked up, we were like, oh, I never, ha I usually never had more than three inventory slots. I'm on level three. I have uh, six. <laughs> Excuse myself. Oh, no, I have eight. <laughs> Is that ten or one hundred ten? I can't read that. Um, oh, of course. Phone call in the middle of the game. Great. Now, I just need to confirm that you're a U.S. citizen. Yes, I am. Now, again, I'm an employment specialist here, and my job today is to ask you a few questions to determine if the position you applied for is going to be a good match for you. And then after that, I'll do my very best to try to match you up with some other local jobs, of course, that are in your area that you may be interested in applying for, okay? Purple. And what year did you graduate high school or receive a GED in the United States? 1899. So, what is your highest level of education? A uh, PhD. Okay. I also see that you're currently not enrolled in any kind of school right now. Is that correct? Uh, that's right. But you do plan on furthering your education at some point in the future, right? Uh, maybe. And may I please have your email? Um, it's, uh, yx dot yx at uzpi dot sigma. Now that email is going to have your username and password in it so you can log on. It's going to ask you to finish up the application that you started today, and I'm also going to include about three jobs in there. I'm also going to be sending you the same three jobs in the text message that are all kind of in the same area of interest that we talked about, and they will all be within about 15 to 20 miles from your house. So look for both the email and the text message after this call, okay? Uh, pumpkin pie. Uh-huh. And I do just want to be clear that we are not a temp service. We're actually a job matching service, and we're going to try to find you a permanent position. Oh, so, uh, so maybe Hogwarts? You know, in case we get disconnected, my number is... Got it. Could you repeat your zip code for me, please? Uh, 90210. Okay. Now, the reason I'm asking is because part of our service is that we want to make you more marketable to employers. We want to make you more appealing. Does that make sense? Uh, generally purple. What do you think you'd like to study if you went to school? 
Um, um, I forget what it's called. Um, but like, uh, um, space travel. Perfect. So part of our service is that we provide you access to an education advisor who can help you determine if there are any kinds of options available to you that can help you accomplish some career goals. Are you still with me? Maybe. That way, when my team is matching you up with the job of the day, every day, trying to figure out what to send you, not only do I know what you're interested in, I also know what you'd be willing to do. So I have to send you out the best jobs possible. Because I really do want you to get a job, okay? I see. Okay, good. Now I'm going to bring an advisor on the line with us. I do appreciate you being so professional on the phone today. I really do. I would also really appreciate it if you convey the same courtesy that you've shown me to the advisor that I'm about to place you on the line with. Oh, shoot. My biscuits are burning. I gotta run. Well, <laughs> I've actually wanted to get one of those um, robocallers recorded. And so I guess it kind of worked out well that this happened uh, during um, during a Let's Play. Um, so if you've ever had one of those, um, you get what is a real recording of a live person calling you and they wind up saying, um, oh, did I actually do this? Yes, I did. Um, you know, oh, hi, uh, I'm so and so um, and I'm, you know, I'm this and that. Um, and, uh, you know, these are the things I do, um, you know, how are you? Oh, that's, that's good. Yeah, you know, what's the weather like? Whatever, different things like that. And it really makes it seem like you're talking to a real person. Um, they pause in the right places. Oh, no, you don't get to shoot things at me. No, I only get to shoot things. That is, you're cheating. You're cheating. Changing the rules. No potatoes. Oh, I see you. Huh. Oh, I can't get through there, can I? Hey, don't... That kind of didn't really work out so well. Anyway, um... So I got a couple of these um, along the way, and I started to realize what was going on. I think these guys are speeding up. But I'm speeding up my shots. That is a noticeable change, which is good. Um... This is a lot of slots. I mean, I did notice that there was already a patch out for the game, so they may have actually tweaked the uh, the, the numbers in this compared to the review I saw. Um, that told me nothing about uh, how the secrets actually operate and, you know, what they would look like. But anyway, um... So, yeah, you get in there and, um... Uh, Okay, so that is, yeah, over 100. Um, and, like, you're talking to them, and then you realize... Yeah, so after I got, you know, a call a couple times, I was like, wait a minute, this is the same person calling me um, and saying the same things. Like, I remember this exact conversation before. This is kind of strange. Um, so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to give a weird response to one of these questions. And I did that... And, uh, oh, the other thing I noticed, too, is that they would ask me questions, and then they'd transfer me to their, like, other person, their, you know, their other, uh, like, live representative person, and, like, that person would ask me almost all the same damn questions, um, as if they had, like, no idea what had just been asked. And I'm like, come on, you should have, like, isn't this entered in the computer and transferred over? Why doesn't this... Why do you have to ask me all the same questions again? Um, so this was all starting to make me kind of suspicious. Hmm. I think they're taking more hits, too. Um, I better be careful about my health. So, yeah, so, like, when it was starting to hap happen again, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to kind of play around here. And I, you know, so they asked me what the weather was one day and it was summer and I said oh it's snowing he said oh that's good yeah that's that's nice you know and I'm like okay definitely not uh where did you go to school Hogwarts um I 
range might make a difference too in how effective these shots are. I'd really like to find another, um, like, uh, flubberator. That's what it's called, a flubberator. Well, this could have been, uh, Problem Town Stakeout, but luckily it wasn't. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll go here. So, um... Uh, do I want to use all that now? Ugh. I think I'll save that. I'll try and remember that I've got a health back here. Alright? Remind me, if I get into trouble, there's a health back here. Okay? Thanks, everybody. Um... Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Okay, so let me just look at inventory again. Yes, this is interesting how this the, these things work. Like, they're not really things you use, you equip them. But in order to equip them, you need energy. And I have not been getting much energy. And I, I still wonder, like, how do you get secret areas. Uh, caps lock is not the button I want. Tab is the button. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Okay, I'll go here. I will bite your knickers. Actually, that doesn't sound very good. That just... Like, no matter how you cut that, biting knickers, like, just... I... No. That just... That seems kind of wrong. Don't, don't bite knickers. Alright, what do we got? Um, yeah, so that kind of made the loop there. Gotcha. And we're going in. Deeper. Deeper to the place of the Projection Palace. Okay. Got these, you know, runes on the boxes. I might have to start uh, changing up my, uh, my attack strategy a bit, because I'm blowing through my ammo. Um, yeah. Like, I'm kind of getting low now. This is, uh, concerning me. I'd like to see what happens when I clear this level, though, because, like, the music happened here, and so that kind of makes me think, like, oh, that might mean something. All right. Oh, see, this room, this room looks all different. See? There's, there's, there's like, stuff here. And cracks on the walls. See? I'm thinking, like, we got a set of three. And either it's going to be sets of three or sets of four. Um, as we go through. Uh, is there much that was unexplored here? I don't remember. Um, there was health somewhere. There was a big health. Um, I don't remember where it was. Yes. So I got the health. Ah, oh, it's a secret. Not that it gives me much. But hey, I found a secret finally, so that's cool. And, um, here we go. Facility level 3 complete. Yeah. Mm. And I got all the kills. There were six secrets in that level? You gotta be pooping on the, the crazy board. All right. Ooh. 
three animated humans and aliens spawn you battle are controlled by a master entity, a physical extension of a greater whole. Only your plasma weapons can break the energy field that binds them together. The electromagnetic aura that disabled your ship has doomed you to this world uh, that and doomed you to this world also seems responsible for the external control of your adversaries. But fortunately, it only appears to work on dead tissue, husks that have lost their free will. Although, if you have dandruff, that might be crawling around on your head of its own volition. As you emerge from the last gateway, you immediately realize the purpose of the facility above. A sprawling ancient complex stretches before you, clearly of alien origin. Lack of any corporate knowledge of this suggests the research group that colonized this planet had ulterior motives. Perhaps their, their inordinate interest in a cold, dead rock should have raised the suspicions of Sigma Corp from the beginning. But how would the research group have known? Were they collectively beckoned to Pythos by an unseen force, the force that now drives your enemy? You have a feeling more than any mortal should ever know will be revealed. Uh, you have a feeling more than any mortal should ever know will be revealed as you delve these ancient halls. Your basic instincts scream for you to turn back, but you feel somehow drawn to discovering the truth. Somehow, the near certainty of death below, or worse does not deter you. So I think we're in for a uh, color scheme change. Oh, oh ho. Hello. Uh, so now we're in uh, Temple Land. I will take you and gladly. So this place is a little bit darker. Whoop. Um, I'm back to full weapons, so I will go back over to this. I don't know. Hi, I see you. Okay, that went well. Yes, yeah, so we got a uh, new enemy type. I mean, he might just be the same old... You might be a statue, but you might be alive. Okay. I trust you for now. <laughs> Cracked walls, like, uh, so much stuff. So, um, yeah, like, this is pretty cool. You, you know, it's cool you have three weapons to work with. Um, and you just always do, so that's kind of a neat thing. Um, what do we have here? Nothing, it's just a thing. Um, yeah, oh, the other thing, too, just of note, the game defaults to the old-school aspect ratio, um, which I kind of like. Um, Um, it does give it more of the, uh, the retro feel. Man. Hey, hey, don't come out of the darkness like that and bite me in the back. You know, like, uh, you gotta do a little bit of foreplay first or something. Alright, so what do we have? We got a long corridor. May or may not be mirrored. We got a room. There may or may not be a moose. We'll check out this room. Uh, this room is much bigger than I thought. And what do we have like yeah. So, and again, I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna be finding secrets in this game. Um, like, yeah, I found the one, but... Like, I still don't know if it requires just interacting, or specifically melee. Like, the game's so new. 
And see it also just like you get stuff like that where it's just nothing. A don't, don't do, do it, it and B don't, don't do, do it. it. So what do it? It's control but we got it. like four of them it, buttons. them buttons. So. <laughs> you know, it's a little bit more complexified than that. Alright. Got a long holidor here. Creepy noises. We got a doorway there. Some big looking things here. Um Yeah, you know what's 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 up in this place? What's up in your town? This is definitely some cool beans. It's uh, an interest factory. It's a fear factory. We got... Uh, Got the ancient, ancient hallways. Um, yeah, if, if you can center your shots a little better, I do think you deal more damage to these guys. <laughs> That's a little creepy, because the center is darker than the edges, so like I was turning, I'm like, oh... There's that guy uh, on the edge of my vision. Okay, this way is going to kind of dead end, I think. Kind of. So, what we got is not what we need. What we need is not always what we have. Sometimes what you reap not always what you sow. Unless, of course, you have a sewing machine farm. Guess I'll go this way. Um, boy. Wow. Boy, howdy, as some of, uh, of the cool kids say. This place is a place. Hey, you, you want to hold still? I think I'm hitting him. He does seem to stop a little bit. Yeah. That is a weird room over there. All right. I'm not going to be spider meat. All right, so we're on the other side of that. Nothing doing here. Nope, that's just the music. I think I'll go up first. I knew I heard something. Trying to get me, game. Trying to get me. But I'm not quite getting got. Not yet. Not like that one time. You know what? I think I want to go this way. Call it an instinct. But 
but uh, yeah. This was a thought. Took me here. Let's see, now I know that that's not really much of a thing over there. So now I'll come this way. Check there. Check here. Well, this doesn't really go anywhere. What do you know? All right. So I guess that's how it is then, isn't it? All right, there's the weird room with the guy who was kind of wiggity-wagging out around that place. And we got some some fun times over here. Okay. Yes, I like ammo whammo. I like nanites. Oh, please tell me that's... That's the forge. Okay, so here's a new portal. Like, this also reminds me a bit of Quake with, like, these portals. They're kind of like the, uh, the slip gates. All right. All right, there's still two or three places I definitely haven't explored here. That's sparkly. Give me a secret or something. Of course, from what I was reading, the uh, secrets are just kind of like, could be whatever. Then again, since I'm getting like, some rather different proportions on things. Um, like, there may well be, uh, um, some changes to that. Oh, no, this this goes someplace. Sorta. Well, well, where are we going? We don't know. We're eating chips, but we're not a Dorito. Um, so yeah, um, but this will be an episode, um, I'm, I'm pretty, uh, pretty into this game so far, it's pretty cool stuff, can't see the back of the portal because it's always a front, temple one complete, this is level four overall, yeah, some enemies that I did not find in this game because I found no secret, there were five secrets in this level. I don't know how you find them. Something I'm going to have to probably research more. Do you have to melee them? Do you just have to interact them? I don't know. But that's going to be it for me for today for this game. Um, so please keep tuning in. We're going to be doing more of Sathan. Sathan. Um, Sathan. Marathon. Python. Pythagoras. Um... I'm Lucas, this is The Base is Loaded, um, and uh, this is a cool game, it's creepy, it's made me jump a little bit a couple times, but it's just that right level where I'm cool with it and not going like, I can't play this anymore, it's making me uncomfortable, so um, yeah, um, I, I hope you're enjoying it, I hope you uh, check out some more, check out everything else I've done, I have music too, and um, come back for more, and I will see you next time.
Thank you.